You've just paid a lot of money for your expensive Air 2S, but when you review the footage, you've got props in shot. Why is this happening? We think we've got a theory, let's discuss. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On, and if you enjoy videos about this new Air 2S drone, then hit that subscribe button below for a lot more content just like this. In the meantime, a lot of you have been commenting about props being in shot when you're shooting high resolution footage with the new DJI Air 2S, and you just don't really expect that from a drone costing almost a thousand dollars. This drone is not brand new, and it's actually a next iteration of the existing Mavic Air 2, and so really they should have got this right. But there are a few challenges quite clearly. Just before and since its launch, I've been shooting with the Air 2, and I made an observation which I think is the reason why props are appearing sometimes in shot when you're filming with this new drone. The first one that I believe to be a culprit is FOV, which stands for field of view. And that defines how much peripheral vision the camera has. For example, the camera on the new Air 2S has an FOV of 88 degrees, which means, for example, if I'm a horse and I'm wearing the horse guards to stop the horse seeing peripheral vision, then I might only see that much. If you have an FOV of 150, then you might see that much in which case I could see either side. Compared to its predecessor, the Mavic Air 2 has an FOV of only 84 degrees. That's only four degrees difference, but it all adds up. It means that when you're shooting with the new Air 2S, it can see much wider image than the Air 2. And for that reason, of course, a wider image means you're gonna see more of the around peripheral vision and therefore that means the props. Now you might notice that when you shoot in different resolutions, the FOV does change slightly. Therefore, one way to get around this is to shoot in a lower resolution. When you shoot at full 5.4K resolution, you're capturing as much as that little sensor can see, and that means using the full FOV. Using a smaller resolution might help that. The second culprit is during what's called master shots, which is a new feature that comes with the Air 2S. And it's a way that the drone can go away and shoot a variety of different shots of you, and then the app edits it all together for you into a nice little movie. However, the props seem to be reliably in shot during master shots, and there's a good reason for that too. The Air 2S unfortunately has no sideways obstacle avoidance sensing. And that means that when it's flying an autonomous shot, such as a circle, where it's circling around the topic, it can't see what's to the side. Now DJI have quite cleverly overcome that by instructing the drone instead of flying sideways, it actually slightly faces forward. But what they've done is told the gimbal to yaw so it's actually still looking at the subject. So it effectively flies like that. The problem with this, of course, is that in some scenarios and some weather, the drone is going to have to pitch to the left and the right to overcome wind or also depending on the speed of the autonomous maneuver. And that means that at times the gimbal will have yawed that way, the drone will be tilting that way, and that means that not only the prop, but also the leg is in shot, as seen in one of the examples of my video shot last week. There's only one way for DJI to overcome that, and that's to change the master shots algorithm in the app so that it restricts how much the drone actually looks forward. But of course that then also restricts its obstacle sensing capabilities, and that might mean more crashes. There's no win-win scenario here, really. If we want autonomy from drones like this, then we have to also accept the fact that some of our footage might be slightly unusable or require cropping, panning, and scanning in post-editing. But that's really not ideal when the whole concept of master shots is that it produces it for you ready to share. Anyway, that's my reasoning as to why this might be happening. Hopefully this video is useful and will help you to overcome getting props in shot. Comment below with your thoughts about this. Hopefully DJI are watching and can start thinking about this as well and the fix. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if your face looks better out of shot. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.